We're here with Paul Crocker, the lead narrative designer uh, for Batman Arkham City. Cool. How's it going? It's awesome. We're good. Here, you know, first time here, showing Batman Arkham City. You know, we're having a really good time. Everyone seems to love it. Cool. I know I've been looking through the previews of the game. The game's looking excellent. Thank you I can very see much. You guys. It actually looks quite incredible, the, the changes. What are the changes, do you want to quickly go between the previous uh, Arkham Asylum and Arkham City? Well, I mean, the main change, obviously, is we've taken the claustrophobic environment of the asylum, we've blown the roof off it, we've stuck you in the middle of, a, in, right in the middle of Gotham City, we've created this new super prison, and you know, which has given a much, much bigger play space. So it really feels like you're Batman on the rooftops, you know, hunting down criminals. And the great thing about Arkham City is that's where every one of Batman's famous bad nemesis, guys have been yes. put. So, you know, it's this ultimate place for to put Batman and to test him to his limits. Cool. I see in the game you actually have a lot of these uh, arch nemeses there. I know Penguin was there, Joker, uh, uh, Mr. Ice, Freeze, sorry. Mr. Freeze, yep. Freeze. Uh, we have Hugo Strange, we've got Joker, we've got Harley Quinn, we've got Two-Face, we've got Penguin. <laughs> we've got Mr. Freeze, we've got Deadshot, we've got Zaz, uh, we got, we've got uh, Solomon Grundy, we've got people that people aren't necessarily familiar with. We haven't revealed everyone yet because we like to keep surprises. Um, and it's awesome for us to take these iconic characters and put them in these great locations. And it's quite nice to imagine because it actually adds more to the game. So you actually play Absolutely. against different people and I would imagine different scenarios to defeat different uh, yeah, it's, a very, it's a very different game than the first one because the, the main story of the first game was Joker Break Free, Batman had to stop. Uh, now we have... Everyone is still imprisoned. So it's more about this kind of... Uh, what would these bad guys do if they had a city that was theirs? And they were featured. And they've all got, and they've all got different aims. They've all got different motives. You know, Penguin is a very nasty bit of work. He he just wants to own everything. He wants to keep it all for himself. Joker wants to screw around with people. Uh, Two Face just wants respect. Wants people to you know to join up with him. Uh, you know, Mr. Freeze just wants to be left alone because Mr. Freeze just wants to cure his wife. Yes. But, you know, inevitably these things go wrong and, you know, Batman is on this collision course where the two of them are going to meet. It's not going to be pretty, but, you know, it's going to be fun. And, you know, it's, it's an awesome experience for us to be able to come up with new ways to use these characters. And, you know, what can I say? We love it. That sounds good. I um, also know uh, Catwoman is one of the other players you can play in this. Absolutely. Um, which I know a lot of people have actually spoken about and from what I gather people have tested have actually quite enjoyed playing as her. Yeah, you can play as her down on the shop floor today. Um, you know, one of the things we did was Catwoman was always part of the main story and then when we built this Catwoman character, we were kind of looking at her saying, it would be kind of cool if you could play as her. It's going to be a lot of work. How are we going to make this work? So, you know, our guys are really hardworking, really talented people, and they put her together. We prototyped it. We agreed it was going to be good. Then we worked out a whole new story that she that sits on top of the way she originally fitted into the game so that she had a meaningful place in the world, in, in, the, in this narrative. So, you know, she's not just there to look pretty. She's there to do stuff. Her story winds in and out of Batman. Exactly. Um, and, you know, it's, not, it's still a Batman game. Let's get that clear. You know, Batman is 90% of this game, but 10% of it is Catwoman, and you see the world from a different point of view. Cool. And which bit did you enjoy the most out of actually developing this game? I mean, for me, it's great. Every day is great. You know, yeah. we're made, you know, I write stories about Batman stuff and come up with <laughs> crazy stuff. Um, it's hardly the worst job in the world. So, you know, from that point of view, it's great. I love doing the VO, you know, working with Mark Hamill, working with Kevin Conroy, working with our talented cast, working with the people at Rocksteady who are all awesome. You know, every day is awesome. What can you do? Awesome. Right, thank you very much. Thank you.